What's the almighty motherfucking deal, baby? It is Thursday, September 9th, 2021. And we back in that bitch talking that intergalactic player shit. Boys that got done with ye old second workout, ye old cardio. Had to come out here and run and, you know, clear my mind, clear some stresses, clear some anxiety. And just, you know, affirm myself and let myself know that everything's going to be okay. But you want to know why everything's going to be okay? Because I made a motherfucking decision. And that's what I'm telling you today. Yes or no. Fuck how you feel. Fuck what's going on outside of you. Make a motherfucking decision. Do you want to drop weight? Yes or no. Are you tired of being fucking broke? Yes or no. Do you hate this goddamn relationship? Yes or no. Do you hate this motherfucking job? Yes or no. Do you hate where the fuck you're living at? Yes or no. Do you hate the car you have? Yes or no. Do you hate the entire lifestyle that you live? Yes or no. I want to say it's a, Michael, a Malcolm X quote that stated that uh, that which you do not hate, you tolerate. And you know what's fucked up with a lot of us, bro? We're tolerating a lot of shit that we know that we fucking hate. Because somewhere subconsciously, we believe that what we have right now is all the fuck we're worth. And you know that man that comes from? Somebody else who bought into that sucker shit told you that same shit. And more than likely, it was somebody that you fucking respected, somebody that you loved. And so then therefore, you know, when you keep hearing that shit over and over again and it becoming more and more compounded, you know, that starts to become a part of you and you start believing it. But the way how you counteract all that bullshit is by taking motherfucking action today. Don't hope. Decide. Don't get on your knees and fucking pray no more because ain't nobody finna come save you. You already have your savior within you. You was born with your savior, your fucking brain. You are already born with your assignment within you. It is up to you to seek silent places. Get by yourself once the kids take care of or who, whatever else you got going on, whatever relationship you got to take care of. Once that shit is done and you get some time to spend by yourself, you need to discover and unearth who am I? What is my purpose here? And you need to walk all the way into that and know and go ahead and accept now. And, and it's going to be hard. Because it's going to be people that you love that's going to fucking walk away from you because they're going to feel like you're being strange, you're acting strange, you're talking all this crazy-ass generational, multi-millionaire, multi-billionaire type bullshit. It's going to be bullshit to them. But it's mainly because, you know, small minds can't process big dreams. You know what I'm saying? So, like, don't even waste your time trying to explain shit to these people. Ain't no, most of y'all are hard-headed. <laughs> and, you know, I'm one of them motherfuckers too. You gonna bump your head and tell people anyway. Guess what, man? I tell motherfuckers what I'm gonna do right now to this day, because like I know I'm gonna fucking do it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna stop me but me. And death may try to come, but I got a motherfucking AK-47 for his bitch ass. <laughs> I'm not worried about that shit, bro. Because every day when I get up, I make a motherfucking decision to get better. I don't give a fuck how I'm feeling. I don't give a fuck how yesterday went. I don't give a fuck. I got to get up and get my assignments done. Because that is the only way I can prove to God that I'm still worthy of this vision, of this dream, of this task, of this assignment that was placed on me to do so. Because I'm pretty sure God done went to, you know, every other motherfucker in my family and tried to give them the opportunity to be that one. And you know, man, I, I fought for a long, I wouldn't say fault. Yeah, I fought for a long time not to be that one, but God damn it, I'm the one. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and what stressed me out about being the one was like, my nigga, where's the information? You know, so where's the opportunity gonna come from? And man, I just woke up every day and just kept putting in work. What y'all are seeing right now, you know, this weight loss transformation, you know, these businesses I'm building in your face in real time, man, you know, so I had to believe, man. I, and, you know, I, I had all the reason in the world not to fucking believe. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker was a hundred grand in motherfucking debt. Car got repossessed. You know, so lost a car in the flood. You know, apartment got motherfucking flooded. Had to come back home, move back on the south side with my mama. Went to motherfucking jail because, you know, she had a psychological outbreak. 
you know, we end up getting into it. I ain't hadn't seen my motherfucking baby in a year because his mama was pissed off because I left this motherfucker trying to pursue better things. I had everything stacked up against me to motherfucking get up, settle for this sucker ass shit, settle for that motherfucking job that was taxing my ass and the motherfucking child support and the insurance and all the other kind of bullshit. But every day I made a motherfucking decision that like this was not going to be my life. I knew what the fuck I had in here. I knew where the fuck I seen me. I knew where the fuck I wanted my son to go. I knew the life that he deserved. I knew the life that his that his children that his children fucking deserved. And I knew I had to be the one to do it. Cause I knew wasn't nobody gonna do that shit for me. So make a motherfucking decision. Cause don't nobody feel sorry for you, dog. Everybody else got their own bullshit going on that they don't even know how to fucking sort through. Everybody don't know how to do life. I don't know if that sentence made any sense to y'all, but ponder on it, my nigga. Everybody don't know how to do life. All that traumatic ass shit I just told y'all I went through, man. Most people would have blew their goddamn head off by now. And I ain't gonna lie to you, I almost tried to blow my head off when I first came home. I tried to overdose on some shit. Nigga still here. Nigga, I tried to overdose on edibles. I'm like, you can't overdose on edibles. Boy, I was high for three fucking days. <laughs> oh, shit. But you have purpose. You know what I'm saying? You, that's the reason why your eyes open up every day because you have purpose. But you got to get by yourself and figure out what that is and walk into it. I don't give a fuck if the person that gave birth to you was talking down on that shit. Fuck what they got to say. Your parents are just a portal to help get you here. You the motherfucking one. But you got to make a decision. Hope y'all enjoyed this message. Don't forget, man, boys be set. Boys still selling t-shirts, man. Niggas just had to put some shit to the side, do some studying, and build even other motherfucking business ventures, bro. But it's still going down. www.syrupink.com. Got some more new designs coming soon, especially since we got all this free time now since, uh, you know, boys done quit their job because fuck the plantation. But, uh, yeah, man, buy you a shirt, bitch. www.syrupink.com. Once again, that is www.syrup. Ink.com. I believe and love every last one of you motherfuckers who have supported me over the years. All the new people, people who just see the vision. Maybe you ain't bought nothing. It's not even about buying shit. You know, it's about the connection. This is a community. We're fucking growing together. We're supporting each other. We're watching each other, you know, win and lose in real time. But we getting up every fucking day and making a decision that tomorrow is going to be better and I'm going to do my fucking best today. Talk to y'all later.